I'd like to thank uh, the KCA and the organizing committee for an opportunity to speak here today. So, you know, I would submit to you that the prognostic value afforded by lymph node dissection and kidney cancer is undisputed. We all know that patients with proven node mets do poorly, so I will not spend time discussing this today. The real question is whether um, there is a therapeutic benefit associated with lymph node dissection, whether this benefit can be seen in patients with clinically node negative kidney cancer, in patients with node positive disease, and can we identify populations of these patients that are at high risk um, for nodal metastases and again benefit from node dissection. So let's, let's just start with this patient. This is a typical patient that we all see in our clinics. Had a uh, CAT scan for an unrela unrelated reason, found to have uh, an, essentially an asymptomatic right-sided uh, renal mass. No signs of uh, um, local, regional nodal disease. We all know that this patient should probably be treated with a nephrectomy or nephron sparing surgery of some sort. The question is what, whether he should have a lymph node dissection. The Europeans actually pulled this trial off. <clears throat> they randomized about 700 patients to uh, nephrectomy or nephrectomy and a lymph node dissection. And you can see here, the study was powered to detect 10% difference in survival. Um, and you can see here that progression-free survival, the, the Kaplan-Meier curves are essentially overlapping. And same thing is for the cancer-specific and overall survival. So no difference whether lymph node dissection was performed at the time of nephrectomy. Remember, these, these are all patients with clinically node-negative disease. A little bit closer look at the data. You, again, you can see that no difference in the rate of death uh, from oncologic outcomes or overall survival. No difference in local uh, disease progression. No difference in distant and or local disease progression as well. So no impact on any of the oncologic outcomes could be demonstrated by this study. Again, a closer look at uh, this uh, study's population, you can see that vast majority, over 70% of these patients had uh, organ-confined uh, kidney cancer, and you can make an argument that the probability of uh, nodal positivity in this specific cohort is very, very low. And in fact, some of the uh, numbers worth remembering, overall, only 3% rate of node positivity in this specific study in patients with, that did have, that were randomized to lymph node dissection arm. If the nodes were not palpable at the time of surgery, these patients had only 1% probability of uh, subclinical metastatic disease. Even more interesting, in patients that did have palpable lymphadenopathy at the time of surgery, only 16% of these patients had actually, these nodes were actually uh, kidney cancer. So what I take away from that study is that I think in, in, the, in the population of patients with clinically localized kidney cancer, I think routine lymph node dissection is probably not necessary. Let's look at a little bit of a different extreme. Here's a patient that presents with uh, uh, locally advanced uh, renal mass, most likely renal cell carcinoma, obviously, and pre presence of regional nodal disease. I think we all, yes, let's just assume there's no evidence of systemic metastatic disease. And I think all of us would agree that this patient needs a nephrectomy. The question is whether he'll benefit from aggressive uh, local regional lymph node dissection. There are multiple studies on this issue, but uh, the most modern and robust series comes from Anderson. About 70 patients uh, treated with nephrectomy and aggressive uh, lymph node dissection at the time of surgery for kidney cancer with local regional nodal disease, but no evidence of systemic metastases. Again, perhaps not surprisingly, you can see that majority of these patients progress systemically within a year, but you can see that there's a very well-defined population, perhaps maybe 20% or so, that are actually cured by this approach long term. If you look at overall in cancer-specific survival, again, at five years, uh, close to 40% of these patients are alive. Uh, these authors also looked at predictors of outcome uh, associated uh, with this patient population. And you can see that presence of sarcomatoid features, um, advanced nodal disease, poor performance status were all associated with uh, inferior ochnologic outcomes. but presence of papillary histology was actually associated with um, improved survival. Similar data from the uh, UCLA group here, they actually provide a control arm of patients that with local regional nodal disease that did not undergo node dissection compared to patients that did. And you can see here that um, patients treated with nephrectomy and aggressive uh, lymph node dissection actually enjoyed uh, improvement in their oncologic outcomes. Um, this was not seen, again, in patients with no clinical evidence of nodal disease, no impact on oncologic outcomes, whether they underwent lymph node dissection or not. Again, this is in um, 
accord with the European randomized study. So if we assume that you know, all patients should fall somewhere in this continuum of those with early, low-stage disease with low probability of nodal nets, these patients we know don't benefit from node dissection, and those with already clinical evidence of regional lymphadenopathy for this group, I would submit that lymph node dissection is probably um, too little and too late. I think the most relevant group of patients, um, probably the patients that are wedged somewhere in between here, and these are the patients with um, high risk and high probability of harboring occult metastatic disease. Can we identify this patient group? And our colleagues in May have been doing this for uh, almost a decade now. They've identified five risk features, which uh, with the primary tumor that are associated with high probability of regional neural disease. Again, you know, perhaps not surprisingly, again, high nuclear grade, presence of sarcomatoid features, large tumor size, advanced tumor stage, and presence of histologic necrosis. And they, what they've shown nicely is that as number of these poor prognostic features increases, the probability of regional neural disease uh, is increased. And perhaps, um, you know, patients with two or three or more of these risk features would actually benefit at, uh, from uh, uh, lymph node dissection at the time of uh, nephrectomy. Very similar um, concept here. Th this is a European group that developed a nomogram um, to predict probability of nodal disease based on very simple and accessible um, preoperative clinical features. Uh, very highly accurate in prediction of uh, regional nodal disease. However, this nomogram has not been um, externally validated. If we decide to do a lymph node dissection, I think most of us would agree that uh, simple node plucking is not sufficient. I think a thorough lymph node dissection should be performed. Um, this uh, study demonstrates nicely that the more lymph nodes you remove, the higher probability of a finding of a positive lymph node. And again, in this specific study, remo removing more than 13 lymph nodes essentially doubled the node positivity rate. So I'm not suggesting that we should be sitting there and counting lymph nodes. I think um, a uh, structured approach based on uh, mapping studies and template dissections probably makes the most sense, as advocated by the Mayo group here. Now, I would be remiss not to mention potential complications associated with the uh, lymph node dissection. I think the most relevant and robust data comes from, the, again, the European randomized study. And uh, just to summarize, um, really no significant rates of, inc of increased complications associated with lymph node dissection compared to patients that uh, got a nephrectomy uh, only. So in summary, I think obviously uh, nodal status provides very important prognostic information, but I would submit to you that um, currently there's no uh, approved adjuvant agent, so what you do with this information uh, perhaps is limited. There's no proven benefit to um, adjuvant lymph node dissection in patients with clinically localized early stage kidney cancer. You can achieve durable rates of uh, uh, remission um, and prolonged survival in small but a significant fraction of patients with uh, obvious local regional nodal disease. I think risk adapted methodology as employed by the Mayo Clinic uh, makes sense in patients with locally advanced disease. And if lymph node is to be, dissection is to be performed, I think template anatomic dissection rather than node plucking should be performed. Thank you.